I.V. William 1830-1837 King William IV, whose reign spanned from 1830 to 1837, is often seen as a transitional figure in British history. He was the third son of King George III and succeeded his elder brother, King George IV, to the British throne. His brief seven-year reign marked an era of significant change and transformation in the United Kingdom. King William IV is sometimes referred to as the Sailor King, due to his earlier career in the Royal Navy before ascending to the throne. While King William IV's reign might not be as illustrious or eventful as those of some of his predecessors or successors, it holds a unique place in British history for several reasons. Firstly, his reign was marked by a period of political and social change, particularly with the passage of the Reform Act of 1832, which expanded the voting rights of the British population and laid the groundwork for more representative government. William IV, whose full name was William Henry, was born on August 21, 1765, at Buckingham House, London. He was the third son of King George III and Queen Charlotte. His early life was marked by the privileges and expectations of being a member of the royal family. However, unlike his elder brothers, who pursued careers in the military and politics, William IV chose a career in the Royal Navy. William's naval career saw him serving in various capacities, and he gained significant experience and knowledge of the sea. He participated in numerous naval engagements and witnessed the challenges and triumphs of the British Navy during the late 18th century. William IV's ascension to the throne was not a straightforward process. His elder brother, George IV, had a tumultuous and unpopular reign, marked by extravagance and scandal. When George IV died in 1830, William IV, who had long been next in line to the throne, became king at the age of 64. His accession to the throne was met with mixed feelings among the British populace. The political landscape at the time was complex, with issues related to parliamentary reform and the need for political change becoming increasingly urgent. William IV's reign coincided with a period of political turmoil and unrest, and his views on reform were viewed with anticipation and apprehension. Upon ascending to the throne, William IV faced several immediate challenges. One of the most pressing issues was the demand for parliamentary reform. The Reform Crisis of 1830-1832, also known as the Great Reform Act, was a defining moment in his reign. There was widespread discontent over the outdated electoral system, which favored the aristocracy and disenfranchised much of the population. William IV initially had reservations about reform but eventually gave his support to the Reform Act of 1832, which expanded voting rights and paved the way for a more representative government. Another challenge was the economic instability of the era. Britain was grappling with economic recessions, unemployment, and social unrest, partly due to the industrialization of the country. The government, under William IV, had to address these economic issues while navigating the changing social landscape. The Reform Crisis of 1830-1832, also known as the Great Reform Act, was a pivotal moment in British political history. It was a response to a growing public demand for parliamentary reform and a more representative government. During this period, the British political system was outdated and unresponsive to the changing demographics and economic realities of the country. The electoral system was characterized by rotten boroughs, constituencies with very few voters, and significant disparities in voting rights. The reform crisis was marked by widespread protests, public demonstrations, and political agitation. Reformist groups and political figures argued for a more equitable distribution of political power, with an emphasis on extending suffrage to a broader section of the population and eliminating corrupt electoral practices. King William IV initially had reservations about parliamentary reform. He was a product of the old political system and was naturally cautious about making significant changes. Moreover, he was concerned about the potential for instability and revolution if reform were mishandled. However, as the reform crisis escalated, and under the influence of his advisors and political pressure, William IV gradually shifted his stance. He recognized the need for reform to quell growing public unrest and to modernize the political system. In July 1830, he dissolved Parliament, paving the way for a general election that reflected the changing political landscape. 
While William IV did not play an active role in drafting reform legislation, his willingness to cooperate with reform-minded politicians was crucial in ensuring the passage of the Reform Act. His royal assent to the Reform Act of 1832 signaled his acceptance of a more representative political system. The Reform Act of 1832 was a landmark piece of legislation that had a profound impact on British politics. Its key provisions included the redistribution of parliamentary seats to better reflect population shifts, the elimination of some rotten boroughs, and an expansion of the electorate. It increased the number of eligible voters, primarily by reducing property qualifications for voting in boroughs and counties. One increased representation. It expanded the political representation of the emerging industrial cities, which had previously been underrepresented in Parliament. Two greater political engagement. It engaged a broader section of the middle class in the political process, strengthening their influence and fostering a sense of political participation. 3. Political Stability The Act helped to diffuse the tension and unrest that had characterized the reform crisis, contributing to political stability. 4. Transition to Victorian Era The Reform Act of 1832 is often seen as a catalyst for the transition from the Georgian era to the Victorian era, with its changing values and social structures. One of the key factors influencing British foreign policy during this time was the aftermath of the Napoleonic Wars and the Congress of Vienna, 1814-1815. Britain played a leading role in shaping the post-war settlement, which aimed to restore stability in Europe and prevent further expansion of revolutionary and Napoleonic ideas. William IV's reign saw Britain maintaining its position as one of the major European powers, alongside nations like France, Russia, and Austria. 1. The Eastern Question One of the major diplomatic challenges during William IV's reign was the Eastern Question, which revolved around the decline of the Ottoman Empire and the potential power vacuum in southeastern Europe. Britain, along with other European powers, was concerned about maintaining a balance of power in the region. 2. Colonial Expansion The era also witnessed British colonial expansion, with particular attention to Africa and Asia. Diplomatic negotiations and conflicts arose as Britain sought to assert its interests in these regions. 3. Trade and Empire Economic considerations played a significant role in foreign policy. Britain was keen to protect its global trade interests, which were facilitated by its extensive empire. Maintaining naval supremacy and securing trade routes were key priorities. 4. Diplomatic Maneuvering William IV's reign involved a fair amount of diplomatic maneuvering to manage relations with other European powers. His government had to balance competing interests and alliances, particularly with France and Russia. One of the most notable foreign policy achievements during William IV's reign was the signing of the Treaty of London in 1839. This treaty recognized and guaranteed the independence of Belgium, which had previously been part of the United Kingdom of the Netherlands. The Belgian Revolution of 1830 had led to the country's declaration of independence from Dutch rule. One recognition of Belgian independence. It officially recognized Belgium as an independent and sovereign state, ending the union with the Netherlands. 2. Balance of Power The treaty was part of a broader European effort to maintain the balance of power and prevent conflicts that could destabilize the continent. 3. Guarantor States The major European powers, including Britain, France, and Russia, became guarantor states of Belgian neutrality, pledging to protect its territorial integrity. The Treaty of London of 1839 helped to secure Belgium's place in Europe and contributed to the maintenance of peace on the continent during a period of considerable political upheaval. It was a notable diplomatic achievement for Britain during King William IV's reign, demonstrating its commitment to the principles of sovereignty and territorial integrity. The reign of King William IV, from 1830 to 1837, marked a period of significant transition in the social and cultural landscape of Britain. This era was characterized by the juxtaposition of old Georgian values and emerging Victorian ideals, and it witnessed several transformative developments in various aspects of society. 1. Urbanization The early 19th century saw a rapid shift from agrarian to industrial society. Urbanization was on the rise as people flocked to burgeoning industrial cities in search of employment in factories and mills. Two class divisions 
class divisions remained pronounced, with a stark contrast between the newly industrialized urban working class and the affluent aristocracy and middle class. Social inequality was a pressing concern. Three social reform movements. The era was marked by the emergence of social reform movements, driven by the need to address social issues such as child labor, poor working conditions, and inadequate education. Notable reformers like William Wilberforce advocated for social change. The transition from the Georgian to Victorian era was a gradual process that began during King William IV's reign. While the Georgian era was marked by a more relaxed and indulgent lifestyle, the Victorian era that followed was characterized by a shift towards moral and social conservatism. Several factors contributed to this transition. 1. Queen Victoria's reign. Queen Victoria ascended the throne in 1837, immediately after William IV's death. Her long and influential reign defined much of the Victorian era, and her strong moral values and sense of duty set the tone for the period. 2. Emergence of Victorian values. The Victorian era brought about a greater emphasis on family values, morality, and social order. It was a time of increased religious fervor and a sense of social responsibility. 3. Impact of industrialization. Industrialization brought about significant social and economic changes. While it led to prosperity for many, it also highlighted social problems, leading to a more socially conscious society. 4. Literary and cultural shifts. Writers and thinkers of the time, such as Charles Dickens and Thomas Carlyle, reflected the changing values and concerns of the era in their works. The literature of the period often explored themes of social injustice and moral development. While King William IV's reign was relatively brief, it had a lasting impact on the cultural and artistic landscape of the era. 1. Literature. The literature of the time began to reflect the shifting societal values and concerns. Authors like Sir Walter Scott and Jane Austen, who straddled the Georgian and early Victorian eras, were prominent figures whose works bridged the transition. Charles Dickens, whose career flourished during this period, would go on to become one of the most influential Victorian novelists, addressing social issues in his writings. 2. Art. In the realm of art, the transition from Georgian to Victorian values was evident in the works of artists like J.M.W. Turner and John Constable, who captured changing landscapes and social realities. The Royal Academy of Arts continued to play a central role in promoting British art. 3. Fashion. Fashion during William IV's reign was a blend of Georgian extravagance and early Victorian modesty. Women's fashion featured high-waisted gowns and bonnets, while men's attire still retained elements of Regency fashion. The transition to the more somber and conservative Victorian fashion would become more pronounced in the years following William IV's death. King William IV played a significant role in the broader abolitionist movement in Britain during his reign. While he may not have been as directly involved in the movement as some other key figures, his support and actions contributed to the eventual success of the abolitionist cause. 1. Personal Convictions William IV held personal convictions against the institution of slavery. His naval career had exposed him to the horrors of the transatlantic slave trade, and he had witnessed firsthand the conditions endured by enslaved people. This experience likely influenced his stance on abolition. 2. Royal Influence. As king, William IV had a platform and influence that he could use to support the abolitionist cause. He used his position to advocate for the end of slavery and to encourage the government to take action. 3. Support for Reform. William IV's willingness to support political reform, as demonstrated by his acceptance of the Reform Act of 1832, indicated a broader commitment to societal change. This ethos aligned with the abolitionist movement's goals of challenging entrenched social injustices. The Slavery Abolition Act of 1833 was a landmark piece of legislation that marked the beginning of the end of slavery in the British Empire. While it was passed after William IV's reign ended in 1837, his support for the abolitionist cause during his reign contributed to the climate that led to its eventual passage. One key provisions of the Act included Immediate emancipation. The Act declared that all slaves in the British Empire would be immediately emancipated on August 1, 1834, but they would remain bound to their former owners as apprentices for a set period. 2. Compensation for slave owners. Slave owners were compensated for the loss of their property, 
through a system of financial compensation, which was controversial but seen as a necessary political compromise to secure the Act's passage. 3. Apprenticeship Period Slaves were required to work as apprentices for their former owners for a fixed period, which was set at six years for those who had previously been field slaves and four years for those who had been domestic slaves. 4. Full Freedom After the apprenticeship period, former slaves were granted full freedom, and slavery was officially abolished in the British Empire. The Slavery Abolition Act of 1833 represented a historic turning point in the struggle for human rights and social justice. Its legacy is profound and enduring. One humanitarian milestone, the act marked the culmination of years of tireless efforts by abolitionists and was a major victory for the humanitarian movement. It set a moral precedent for the rest of the world. 2. End of Slavery it paved the way for the eventual end of slavery not only in the British Empire but also globally, as Britain used its influence to pressure other nations to follow suit. 3. Inspiration for Future Movements The success of the abolitionist movement served as inspiration for subsequent movements fighting for civil rights, equality, and social justice. It demonstrated the power of organized activism and moral conviction. 4. Reparations Debate in contemporary discussions, the Act's compensation to slave owners has sparked debates about reparations to the descendants of enslaved individuals, highlighting ongoing discussions about historical injustices. In conclusion, the Slavery Abolition Act of 1833, while passed after King William IV's reign, was influenced by his personal convictions and the broader societal changes of the time. It marked a critical moment in the fight against slavery and had a profound and enduring impact on the course of human rights and social justice movements around the world. King William IV's reign coincided with a period of significant economic challenges for Britain. While the Industrial Revolution had brought about unprecedented economic growth, it also brought about a host of complex issues. 1. Economic disparities. The economic disparities between different segments of society were stark. The industrialization of Britain led to the rise of a wealthy industrial and commercial middle class, while the working class faced poor working conditions and low wages. 2. Unemployment and social unrest The rapid mechanization of industries led to unemployment in traditional sectors, such as agriculture and cottage industries. Social unrest and labor strikes were common as workers sought better conditions and wages. 3. Trade Challenges Britain's economic prosperity was closely tied to its global trade network. The country faced competition in international trade, and economic downturns in key trading partners, such as the United States, affected the British economy. 4. Public Finance Issues The government grappled with public finance issues, including high levels of public debt, which had been incurred during the Napoleonic Wars. During William IV's reign, the British government implemented a series of policies to address the economic challenges of the era. One parliamentary reform, the Reform Act of 1832, while primarily a political reform, had economic implications. It aimed to address the issue of underrepresentation in Parliament, allowing for a more equitable distribution of political power. This was seen as a step towards addressing economic disparities. Two factory legislation. The government introduced factory legislation to regulate working conditions in factories and protect the rights of workers, particularly children. Acts like the Factory Act of 1833 were early attempts to improve labor standards. 3. Free Trade The government adopted a policy of free trade, which aimed to reduce tariffs and restrictions on international trade. The repeal of the Corn Laws in 1846, during Queen Victoria's reign, was a significant step in this direction. Four public finance reforms. Efforts were made to address public finance issues. The government sought to reduce public debt through fiscal discipline and economic reforms. Industrialization played a central role in shaping the era during and following William IV's reign. The profound impact of industrialization on British society, economy, and culture cannot be overstated. One economic transformation. Industrialization transformed the British economy from one primarily based on agriculture to one driven by manufacturing and trade. The growth of industries like textiles, iron and steel, and coal mining propelled economic growth. 2. Urbanization 
Industrialization led to mass urbanization as people moved from rural areas to cities in search of employment in factories. This rapid urban growth brought both opportunities and challenges, including crowded and unsanitary living conditions. Three social changes, the rise of industrial capitalism and the emergence of a new industrial middle class contributed to changes in social structures. New social classes emerged, and traditional hierarchies were challenged. Four technological advancements. Industrialization was accompanied by significant technological advancements, including the steam engine, which revolutionized transportation and manufacturing processes. 5. Global influence. Britain's industrialization had a global impact. The country became an economic and industrial powerhouse, influencing global trade and politics. In contemporary times, King William IV may not be as well known as some other British monarchs, but his impact on British history, particularly in the areas of political reform and abolition, continues to be acknowledged and celebrated as part of the broader historical narrative of the United Kingdom. The reign of King William IV, from 1830 to 1837, was a time of transition and change in British history. William IV played a crucial role in the passage of the Reform Act of 1832, which expanded voting rights and moved Britain towards a more representative political system. His support for the abolitionist cause contributed to the eventual passage of the Slavery Abolition Act of 1833, marking a pivotal moment in the fight against slavery. The era witnessed significant economic challenges, industrialization, and the beginning of a shift from Georgian to Victorian values. While his reign was relatively short, it set the stage for broader social, political, and cultural changes that would define the 19th century in Britain. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future.